interactive maps. In this video, I'll get you started with them, walk you through the interface, and give you a taste of how far you can go with them. Click the compass icon to see and manage all the maps that you have in your active world. Just click on a map to open it. To create a new interactive map, click the green Create button, add a title, then click here. Upload your map image, either by dragging and dropping an image here, or clicking and selecting one from your computer. Once your image is uploaded, your new map will open for the first time. Here at the bottom is your toolbar. You'll use this to create your map markers, marker groups, and map layers. Anytime you need help, click the question mark here for the full feature guide to maps. To start, let's create a simple pin. Click the pin button here, click anywhere to place your pin or drag it around into position. Then choose what your pin should look like. Start by typing what the pin is for, like castle, river, or asteroid, or type a color. Then browse through the pin options and click the one you want. Click next to continue. Now title your map pin. You can add a short description if you want to. Click finish and create. And here's your new pin. Click on it to see the title, description, and more details. Linking articles to your maps is a great way to keep track of your world building. It's also a fantastic way for your readers and players to navigate and explore your world. To link an article to your map, follow the same process of choosing a pin, adding a title, and then click Next. From this step, three of five, you can select the article that you want to link from the dropdown. Then create your pin. In edit mode, you can reference a linked article by clicking on it. That's helpful as a quick reminder as you world built. But in presentation mode, when a reader clicks on this pin, it'll open in a sidebar so they can browse the article that you've linked. It's an interactive and satisfying way to explore a world setting. Many world builders find working with maps inspirational. You get new ideas about the places in your world as you create. Use the Article Create button to create new articles for the buildings, landmarks, locations, and settlements that you dream up as you work with your map. Then link them into your pins. This is a great way to start building out your physical world setting. The other kinds of map markers here on the toolbar are just as easy to use, and generally they all work the same way. Labels are text markers that come in a few different styles. Lines are useful for tracking character journeys, for roads, or for simple boundaries. Click to create the points of your line, then click the last point again to save and go on to the next step. You can link articles to your lines as well, like session reports or articles about epic journeys or even important roads. Polygons work the same way as lines, and they're great for creating zones on your map, like city districts, political boundaries, or hotspots. Click the first point again at the end to create your polygon. For circles, click to position the center of your circle, then drag for the radius. With all those pins, there's a lot that you can do with maps. You can also make many pins draggable, so that you and your players can drag them around the map in view mode. To do that, click Is Draggable on page 5 of the creation form. Higher guild tiers can also upload their own pin assets, giving infinite flexibility. To edit your map markers, click the Edit button here. That takes you to this full page edit, where you can control all the options for your pin, simple and advanced. You'll already recognize most of these options, and for the more advanced ones, refer to the Guide to Maps available from here. Once you've made your changes, remember to click Save Changes. One last thing. Some interactive maps need a lot of pins, and it's helpful for you and your readers to be able to toggle those on and off for clarity. To do that, you can create marker groups. You might group pins by type, like ruins, resources, and political pins. You could group them by faction, like stormcloaks versus imperials. You can even create groups of pins that only certain people can see, like for GMIs only, or only the elf characters. We'll talk more about setting up advanced privacy in the next video. For now, click here to create your marker group. Give it a title, then decide whether it's public or private. You can also assign a subscriber group if it's private. On the third panel, choose if you want the marker group to be visible when the map first loads. If yes, click the box. Then click Finish. You can see your list of marker groups by clicking here. You may need to refresh the page to see the most recent ones. 
Click Markers to see your full list of map markers. Then click here to add your desired markers to your new marker group. In view mode, you'll be able to toggle your marker groups on and off at the top right. There's plenty more that you can do with interactive maps. You can add layers, like stories in a building, or an underdark layer beneath your region map. From map settings, you can update the base image of your map and control how much people can zoom in and out. Once you've got the basics down, I recommend reading the guide to maps to learn just how far you can go with this amazing feature. But for now, it's time to continue with the Get Started wizard. Create your first interactive map by uploading your map image. Then create your first map pin. Are you ready? Grab your hammer and go world build.